Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and today I'm going to take a look in on the the bait containers in the African night crawlers that I'm trying to bait out so they can go live in the vermi bag. So let's pull these out and see what I have going today. Have a mortar tray, and then we can pick them up, dump them out see what we caught. That looks like a pretty good haul. Not disappointing at all. We'll use them, use the bait container to haul them over there to the vermi bag. Let's see what the other one has done. And that too looks like a pretty decent haul, considering that it's not easy to bait out African night crawlers with uh, nitrogen sources. All right, so let me move this over. I've been slowly sifting this one and putting the overs in the one we just came from and uh, harvesting the castings. So let's see what we got here. Got a sprout for one thing. Looks like a pretty good haul. I would say that we are making progress in getting the African night crawlers into their new home. All right, last bait container. I know there's still worms, you know, in there, but um, I will reset the bait uh, traps and uh, put fresh food in them, and then I'll let them keep this food in the vermi bag, which I will show you in a moment when we come back. Okay, here we are back into the vermi bag. I went ahead and opened that up because that's not going to happen one-handed. But uh, so here we are, and looks like they're making themselves at home. So let's give them some new friends. As well as, you know, quite a bit of a feeding. So there is some leftover pumpkin in this feeding so they will have more than enough to go on for another week even with their new neighbors I don't know that's probably another half a pound of worms maybe a little bit more I'm gonna I don't know if you can see in here very good but I'm gonna have to leave these upside down and kind of in here for a little bit until they crawl out of the bait containers, which they normally do pretty easy for me. But I'm going to spread that out and then give them another handful of bedding on top of this. Okay, putting a little bedding on there. Like I said, I'm going to put these cups in here for a little while, let the worms crawl out while I'm preparing the next um, bit of bait for them. I've got some bananas and oranges for them. So I will bring you back when we start the baiting again. Okie dokie. Now we have our cups all cleaned out of all the worms. I've put some of the prepared bedding inside there. And now I'm going to put some fruit in there. I've got I don't know, some banana pieces, or uh, peels rather. Give them each a little bit there. And then we have some super moldy oranges. Shouldn't be too hard for them to get into that at all. 
and then some slightly less than super moldy oranges. Just make sure they've got a lot of juice and oops, everything to get into. And as you will see in about a week, this uh, forbidden food feeding is going to be super popular very quickly. I'm going to get a little bit of bedding to put on top of that as well. we can put these back in the African Nightcrawler bins. Okay, let's go reset the bait traps. All right, here we are back at the African Nightcrawler bins. I'm going to put that in there and have everything snuggle up in it. Put this one in oops, this corner. Make sure that the castings are going all the way up and around I mean, make sure that they're they're able to get all the way around is what I mean okay and then the same thing for these guys put that bedding back in there and then like I said these bins are getting pretty dry which is Part of, you know, the point of, here's my supervisor, come to make sure I'm doing it right. Um, so yeah, so just trying to make sure that it dries out so I can sift it as well as being good for making them want to leave and get into the bait buckets. Alright guys, well that's it for today for the African Nightcrawlers. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what me and the pugs are doing, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.